Thanks. You handle that horse pretty well for a lousy rider. Yeah, it's a great horse. Want to ride him? When? When you want to. Well, I work all day. Well, how about tonight? I'll go with you. What about Vera? She's just a friend. 8.30? Right here. Okay. Okay. really swell. Vera. I'm going to tell how oh, I am. I am going to tell. How? How could this happen? How could you humiliate me this way? I'm ashamed to be your mother. And you, how could you let this happen? Both students have been put on probation and will have no privileges for a month. Probation? This is appalling. I have devoted myself to making Christina a proper young lady. That boy should be expelled. Now, Miss Crawford, when this sort of thing has happened before, we... Before? Is this an institution of learning or a teenage brothel? Chadwick has an impeccable reputation. And when students break the rules, we curtail their freedom. Well, we are leaving here right now. Obviously, she cannot be controlled in this environment. Nothing really happened between your daughter and the young man. It was innocent. No thanks to you. I think you're overreacting, Miss Crawford. And I think you're underreacting, Mrs. Chadwick. My compliments to your school on its impeccable reputation. Christina, come on. There's a liquor store to the right. I know you know where to find the boys and the boobs. All right. Tina, look at me. Barbara Bennett is here from New York doing a cover story on me for Red Book. Tina, look at me. When I'm talking to you. Very important to me. I don't want any trouble from you. We're back. You're gonna love this. Ruby Star manages to have it all. Career, home, and family. Uh -huh. Let me see that. God, Christina, it can't be. The last time I saw you, you were four. How are you, Miss Bennett? God, call me Barbara. They're teaching you some fancy manners at Chadwick. That's not all they've been teaching her. Well, how do you like school? Very much, thank you. She got expelled. That's a lie. Excuse me, Barbara. Christina, I want to talk to you. In the other room. Well, 
Why do you deliberately defy me? Why did you tell her I got expelled? Because you did get expelled! That is a lie. <laughs> You love it, don't you? You love to make me hit you! Joan! Barbara, please! Please, Barbara! Leave us alone, Barbara. If you need anything, ask Carol Ann. It's wonderful. It is wonderful! You! You deliberately embarrassed me in front of a reporter! A reporter? I told you how important this is to me! I why did you adopt me? What? Why did you adopt me? Because I wanted a child. Because I wanted someone to love. Don't you act for me. I want to know. Why did you adopt me? Maybe I did it for a little extra publicity. Tina, that's not true. You know that's not true. Maybe just a little true. I don't know what to do with you. Why not? I don't ask much from you, girl. Why can't you give me the respect that I'm entitled to? Why can't you treat me? I would be treated by any stranger on the street. Because I am not one of your fans. 